Today we're gonna find out if these $10 windshield chip repair kits actually work. I guess the first step with this is I need some chips in my windshield, so. All right, so we actually got three chips in this windshield. This one right here, this big one right here, which is where we're gonna run our test. So this one's kind of hard to see, but it's right over here. Well, that worked. Throwing the kit at the windshield actually opened it for me. Let's see what's here. Bag of stuff, and it smells like Eureka chemicals in here. So this is the full kit laid out. Stick this to the windshield. This goes in here. Once you put the resin in there, this goes into that to push it in. Eyedropper for the resin. Scraper. Plastic things. The whole nine yards. I know there's never a plan with this channel, but there's always some sort of final product. So let's get this going. So this is the main one I want to try to get. That's the biggest one I have. Not too sure if the temperature is going to affect how this turns out. It's about 40 degrees out. I'm kind of interested to see if this will affect the results in any way. So let's start off here. We're going to grab a suction cup and a twister. Now we got to line this hole up with the crack. So let's do that. See, we got it lined up pretty good. This crack's a little bigger than the hole at the bottom there. So we'll see how this goes. Next, we gotta grab this glass resin, eyedropper, fill it up, and we're gonna drop this down that tube. Just getting a good enough amount on there. Looks pretty good. Whoa. <laughs> do not think I was supposed to do that. Dang that down some more. It's gonna be a disaster, I already know. Definitely got some resin in there. I got this guy. We're gonna squish the resin in there. Give it a few twists. See, it's starting to come out of the top. I don't know how much I'm supposed to twist this down either. Got some leakage. That feels pretty, pretty good. Here's from the inside of the car. I'm not perfectly on the crack, but the hole is lined up with it enough where the resin should fill it in for the most part. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let that sit for a few minutes. Once I think it's ready, we'll go ahead and take it off and we'll lay the clear film on it. So I'll get back to you when we're ready. Now I'm not sure if these kits are one time use, but this thing is like stuck on there. Pause. For some reason by this point, I still hadn't realized that these kits were one time use. So enjoy the slight struggle. Unpause. So I was just gonna twist the whole thing off. That's not what I want. Right, we'll just take this off first. Oh, sh We gotta run. We gotta run her down there. Alright, let me go get the plastic shield sheet. We're gonna just lay it over this. Well, there's only one sheet in here, so this is a one-time use kit, so I guess it's the only one we'll be able to test it on today. Flakes all over this thing. This is going absolutely cor incorrectly. So now that should fill the rest of the cracks naturally and I will pull the car out into the sun and then it will have to cure for about an hour and then we'll have our results. Got the car pulled back into the sun. There's the crack right there. Looks like it's filling in. Let's see. One eternity later. Here it is. It's been about an hour. It doesn't look too bad. I mean, I feel like the camera doesn't pick it up as well as I can see it, but it definitely looks like it's filled in a little bit. So I guess we just peel this off. Got some resin left over. We'll grab the razor really quick and scrape that up. I don't know whether you guys can see that, but this is the final product right here. Now I know you can still see the crack from the outside, but Definitely compared to like this one, or this one right here, 
This one is buttery smooth. Like you cannot feel that there's a crack there at all, although you can see it. I mean, you can definitely tell there's still a crack there on the inside as well. But I guess that's not the point of this product. The product is to fill the chip in so that it does not crack your whole windshield or spider web anymore. And that's exactly what the product does. I think the reason for all the mixed reviews on these products online is because people expect them to do more than they actually do. And comparing this to like an actual shop who's gonna charge you 20, $30 per chip on your windshield, this isn't really a bad alternative. I have had windshield chips replaced in the past professionally, and I can say it is definitely a much better job. They have higher end equipment and much more experience with glass repair. So the results that you're gonna get from an actual shop are gonna be much better. But for a little DIY kit, this doesn't work half bad. It pretty much does exactly what's advertised. We'll see how it holds up over time. From what I can feel and tell, it does feel like it filled the chips in. I don't think they'll crack any further. I mean, really all I can do is see how it holds up over time. I thought this was gonna be reusable but it's not this resin hardened in here you cannot get this top piece back out so this void and null gone throw it in the trash i probably will pick up two more of these kits to do the other two chips but when it comes to my other cars like my 335i which has a windshield chip i actually do think i am going to take that to a shop after running this little experiment here but all in all the product does what i think it's supposed to do i think we'll see how it holds up well i guess that's my experience with the diy windshield chip repair kits if you had fun hanging out today, feel free to check out some of my other videos like these ones here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, 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 yeah